Hey guys, Danny Boy here, and today I have the Google Pixel 3a XL and the iPhone XS Max. And what I want to talk about in this video are the unlockings of these devices, and what I mean by that is how you get into them. Uh, from the lock screen and whatnot, what we're dealing with here. Um, so basically, each of these phones has one primary uh, way of unlocking it, of getting into the phone. So the Google Pixel 3a XL here, we know this phone retails for 479 bucks. And as a result, they have not included any kind of face uh, unlock with this phone. They didn't include the basic selfie cam unlock, um, probably because uh, it wouldn't be secure enough to Google standards would be my guess. But if we turn the phone around here, we can obviously see we do have a fingerprint reader there, so... That's the primary way for getting into the 3A XL here. And so basically coming over here to the iPhone, we have no fingerprint scanner anywhere to be found on this phone. And I've stated this in the past, I really wish they would have kept some form of Touch ID on the iPhones because for me, the preferred method of getting into a phone usually is a fingerprint reader unless a face unlock is lightning fast, I'm cool with that. But if the face unlock takes a little bit of time, I'm not really into that. So speed is what matters to me. So Apple, you know, as we can see at Blink and Purple there, they have what's called Face ID, and it's a really high secure 3D scan of your face to unlock your phone. Um, probably the most secure on any smartphone, Apple, Android, anything. Um, to get into a phone. Okay, so this is something Apple introduced with the iPhone 10, and this being the second generation of that device, they've kept it along here. And, you know, it is very uh, convenient having that on the front there. So, Let's talk about usage. Now that we see what each phone has, let's talk about in practical day-to-day -day use, what are we dealing with here? Well, as far as the Pixel 3a's fingerprint scanner here, it is very, very accurate. Okay, I mean, pretty much no matter what way I hit it, it goes to the side, if I hit it a little off, if I hit it hard, if I hit it soft, it's unlocked. And, and I really, really like that. Now I did program both of my index fingers into it twice to kind of give it that extra edge um, for unlocking. And when I did that, I kind of made sure to get all parts of the finger as best as I could. Okay, so is it the fastest? Obviously, it's not the fastest I've ever seen. It's not as fast as my OnePlus 6 I used to have. That one, I mean, you had just tapped it and you were in. I mean, it was lightning fast. This one, I would say, speed-wise, is good. It's definitely not slow. It's just not, like, immediately lightning fast. So, I really like it, though. I mean, it's just real nice. And then another advantage on the side to having this is the ability with your finger to pull down the notification and toggles areas. So... 
that's real nice. I mean, I always like it when you can do that. Very good there. Kind of, it's kind of a big phone. You know, it's on the small end of phablet, so I'd say so. Definitely a useful feature, right? Okay, let's go over to the iPhone XS Max here. And like I said, we're dealing with Face ID here. And let me demonstrate it. So you turn the thing on. You got to look at the phone. You got to swipe up. As you're looking at the phone, the lock changes to an unlock status. So watch. It'll change to an unlock. Let me see if I can get it here. Um, there. You saw how it changed from lock to unlock. That means you're good to go to swipe up and get in it. Okay. The problem I have with this is it's just not super fast it's it's kind of like this where it's it's good but it's not that lightning fast and here you say well you didn't dog the 3a xl for not being lightning fast you're right i didn't because it's 479 bucks this is 10.99 this should be lightning fast it should be better than touch id on fastness okay to me, that's inexcusable to not be better than your older way of doing it, at least in speed. Yeah, it might be more secure, but I'm talking about speed here. That's what's most important to me. You know, I mean, if we're talking, you know, one and a and a, 50,000 or whatever it is versus one in a million, they're both in that scope pretty secure. Okay, so I just don't understand because the, the Steve Jobs philosophy was always you got to make it better. And yes, it is better on security. I get that, but it should also be better on speed. It shouldn't just be better on security. If you did better on security but not speed, it ain't a finished product. It's got to be both. Okay. So, it should be, in my opinion, it should be that when you look at the phone, it should automatically unlock. It, when it's to, it shouldn't even, it should have a way that you can look at it and it unlocks. I don't have to press any buttons. I don't have to swipe. I don't have to do nothing. That's what I feel it should be. But look what we're dealing with here, guys. I either have to touch the screen, look at it. Let me try to get this. Touch it, look at it, swipe up. Come on. You know, or, you know, at least let me turn it on and, and get in without the swipe up, but we're talking a two, really a three-step process. Activate the screen or by tapping it or the side button. Look at it and swipe up. Why can't it just be, I pick the phone up, look at it, bam, I'm in. Why can't the phone have some type of smart way to do that? I don't know, but for ten ninety nine, it's in my opinion, it's not acceptable. The speed just isn't up there where it should be. The speed being good versus awesome on this is acceptable. It's four hundred and seventy nine bucks, but that's just my opinion, guys. You can agree, disagree, love it, not like it, whatever. But that's my opinion. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I kind of have a little bit of passion on this one. If you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And then, as always, hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. For now, peace out.